Hi everyone, Wendy here. Um, I'm doing a little project um, making a a trifold booklet and I'm just going to use some papers that I've got left over from um, making my diary and I've used this set from Cara Brandon and it is called Field Notes Field Forest and um, I used it for October, November, December because I thought the images were sort of wintry with fir trees and autumn sort of so these are all I've got left because I've used the plain well not plain papers but the papers for the diary pages I'll just quickly show you this is my diary now it's a real chunky chunky one so I'll just show you October November December and these are words from one of Cara's freebie, um, which I used. You, do you remember the numbers that I used for the dates? These circle ones. That was on the other half of the sheet. And this was from a freebie from Calico Collage. So I've just used that for the pocket in the front of October because I like to put slips of paper in to write my design team projects on. So I'll just quickly flip through some of the papers. This is one. Make sure that you can see these. That's not. That's a Janie B. That's one. This one. And this one, I think. So let's see the other sides of them. The really sort of stags and pine cones just remind me of Christmas, really. So I thought it'd be nice for the winter, winter months in my diary that was a freebie from someone calico collage again i think anyway that's the diary bit so these are the sheets that i had left so i thought i would use this triple fold and i'll come back shortly to show you how i'm making it um but this is one from another sheet of tags as well so i just thought i'd show you the papers before i start chopping them up because I'm going to use some of this one for a collage in the booklet and I'll chop the envelope up and use that inside the booklet as well and probably some of these pieces so I'm just going to do that then I'll be back in a minute okay I've finished the first booklet and I've cut out the other triple tag and she spaced them just perfectly for doing this sort of thing so I'm just going to score down the lines and I'm not bothered about the white bit because I'm going to be covering that up with some ripped fabric and and that'll give it a bit of strength as well so that's fine so that's folded into three and then you have to decide which you want as the front and I personally think that is nice for the front. So I'm just going to trim a fraction of this. Then it will not hinder the fold. Just make sure it folds in. Now I think I need a fraction more off. Yeah, that lays a bit flatter now. So that's nice as the front, I think. Just put the scoreboard away. Now I've already cut my papers for the pages and I've used nine sheets of A4 and split them into two and I've cut them 15 centimetres by, I think it was 16, because this measures about eight centimetres, yeah. So I'm just going to stitch these in. And I've got a needle ready somewhere and let's find some some twine oh no what I'll do first before I stitch them in I want to have my stitches showing so I'm gonna stick some torn uh, material onto the hinges and I'm using my three-in-one
The only trouble is when you tear the fabric, it does tend to curl in. So I'm trying to flatten it out as I lay it down. Because I like the frayed edges showing. Like that. Let's trim the end off. And the same on the other hinge. Ow. My thumb is still, my hand's still a bit sore from when I fell over the other week. So I'm wearing a support. Even though I did that side of my hand when I fell, it's my thumb that's hurting. Uh, all to, probably to do with getting older and your injuries don't heal quite as quickly as they may do when you're younger, sadly. So that's nice. I just love it when it's all fraying off like that. It's good. Right, now I shall sew the signature in. And I need to find some reasonably... Um, Blending twine. I don't want string because it's too thick. I have all sorts ready. That might be a bit thick. Right, I'm going to use. This pinky one, that will should blend in quite well. Just use the pamphlet stitch. Can't even see to thread the needle now. Right, let's get me pokey tool. Not measuring, just guesswork. And I'll leave the pokey tool in just to hold the papers while I get the first two stitches in. It's quite easy to do this because there's not, not many papers, so it's not very thick. She said. <laughs> the first one I did was went straight through, easy as anything. And as soon as you put the camera on, it doesn't work as well. That's quite tight. I've got loads of pieces of paper from cutting these ends off here. So I'm going to make those into little booklets as well. Use the scraps up. I hate wasting any bits of paper. So, right, let's get another one threaded up. So that's going to be the front. And the other one I'll stitch in here. Let's get some more thread on my needle. I've cut some of the ephemera out, but I shall sit tonight and stitch, uh, cut all the other ephemera out while I'm watching TV. And then I shall finish filming this in the morning and, and I can get it uploaded to show you all right that's that one I 
I'm going to have this is the second one obviously that I've made and I shall be giving these either as little Christmas gifts to my craft club ladies or I shall use them as raffle prizes because when I do my junk journal class at the shop I always have a raffle so I give something related to junk journaling that I've made so um, the ladies seem to quite like it and it gives me an opportunity to make something and give it away because now as I'm not doing the Etsy shop I still like to make things obviously and it's good to give stuff away and know it'll be appreciated. I've just given a completed journal to a lady to she's doing uh, organizing a fair fun, you know to raise money for the local children's charity so anyway that's that done so that's going to be the front so that will fold in there and that will fold over so what i did with the other one i did a um a grommet fastening and I've got these ready, but I did stick something to strengthen on the other side. Just because it's owned, I think the card is about 250 GSM. So I'm just going to glue these on. Where I can put the grommet. I've watered my glue down and it's exceptionally runny uh, but I need to use some up and then I can put some more glue in it then it's not not as runny right I'll try and use the crocodile get that in the middle and then use my big bite to set the grommet in. Why is it easy to see? I'll have to stand up for this. There we go. Right, now we need a piece of ribbon. And I've got some green, the same as the other one. So how I measure it is I need enough to tie a bow, then enough to wrap round and tie a bow. So about there. And I've chosen a little dangle as well. So let's just get this ribbon on. Thread it through the grommet or eyelet. Now I'm just going to hang this. It's on a little lobster clip, so it'll just hang, clip onto the ribbon. Making hard work of this. God, blimey. Right, that's clipped on there. Okay. And then that will wrap round and tie in a bow. So that's another one. I'll, like I say, I'll cut some ephemera up, and I'll shall stick that in and decorate up a little bit. My the front I don't think really needs decorating. I'll just show you the one that I've completed, and I've just cut some bits out. So that's the front with a little dangle. I've used some of the effect, the words from the kit and cut one of the toadstools out. So that opens up and you've got that little writing space and the same there. And with one piece, I made a little pocket and I've just cut two of those bits out, but I will cut more up and put them in and just stuck one of the cards on the back there. and. I did the envelope and I've tied it with uh, twine and I've just put two of the journal cards inside. Mm. 
there I've rounded the corners so and it doesn't quite fit in my little book but what I will do when I've tied it um, it just slot it into the back so that will go as one gift or a raffle prize so I'm really happy with this and it's a beautiful kit and um, I shall use the rest of the bits um, to decorate and make fill the pocket more may as well use them all up okay thanks for watching and I would love you to uh, click the subscribe button and the little notification bell and I shall see you next time thanks for watching bye